Greetings, adventurers, and welcome back to my Skyrim modding journey. Uh, today we are starting with something I installed after I stopped recording last time. That is this Simply Realistic Armor and Weapons, which is a pretty much a combination of a bunch of Nord -wa, Nord that guy Nord War UA Jesus, uh, a bunch of his mods and some others. It's, it's essentially this mod author's uh, combination of mods that he uses, and it also has a bunch of suggestions for other. Uh, mods that aren't part of it, but that complement it kind of thing. Now, as we remember, I just installed believable weapons, and I do generally like those better as far as replacers, and uh, I feel like this does complement it still. So yeah, I just installed the uh, the armor one, not the weapon one. There were just a couple things. I had been on the fence about this randomized normal attack. There is not uh, anything to it. It doesn't have any... Uh, all of this stuff is like recommended for different... It's really like what this comes with kind of or what mods benefit from this kind of thing yeah this page has been very helpful actually because i found simple realistic armor and weapons believable weapons and faster great swords all through this i know <laughs> i'm gonna want faster great swords even though i haven't used it yet and that's so great uh because i think i cut that out of a previous video just me kind of yammering about uh how you know obviously like great swords like these aren't great swords and i mean <laughs> with how big and chunky the vanilla textures are those kind of are great swords they're almost like berserk swords uh like young guts berserk swords but since there's only like you know one-handed and two-handed essentially it makes sense for two-handed to be mostly reasonable two-handed weapon uh especially for like non-formation things because you wouldn't use like a, a great sword like the steel uh replacer one kind of looks like that has the extra hand area and the extra uh, guard uh, halfway up the, or like a third of the way up the blade. Uh, those are formation weapons. They're like spears. You know, they're meant to be used when you have people next to you on either side, and you're trying to attack people who also have people next to each other on either side. And you're trying to poke a hole. Yeah, just like we see in Game of Thrones, it's one of the best part of Game of Thrones is knights carry long swords. Now, if they were like always on horseback kind of thing, they might swap out for an arming sword or a bastard sword, a halfway between a arming sword and long sword uh, that can be used almost as effectively one-handed as an arming sword so anyways we're gonna give it a shot and see you know and maybe i'll add more animation mods later and randomized normal attack installed and deployed and then we've got a faster swinging great sword has no requirements and yeah, see even here it's like it's not really a great i mean i guess even great swords like real great swords aren't as heavy as the great swords in vanilla or aren't like as big and heavy as the ones in vanilla are and faster swinging great swords <laughs> it's so cool it's just so actually like you know it's the time it's definitely on the long end for a long sword but uh it's still not even that unreasonable per se uh oh crash this is my first crash interesting wonder why that happened hmm. Maybe just because it said that, even though I don't think it really required it. Let's reinstall normalized real quick. And how about we just reinstall you since I messed with your textures or meshes. I doubt it created not a save, but let's just try uh, continuing. Oh. Might be because I didn't give it enough time to load up stuff. What what could I have possibly done to Whiterun? <laughs> All right. Well, for some reason, it's not loading into Whiterun. Um now that's not something I've done since I installed Simply Realistic Armor, so I guess we're going to just disable these two first. Reply just to make sure. And we'll try to load into Whiterun again just to make sure that it's not one of those mods that's causing a problem. Alright. I think I had my audio off, so just in case I didn't say it, uh turning off faster green faster swinging great swords and randomized attacks uh did not make it work. It still crashed uh loading into Whiterun. So now I've turned those back on and turned off uh, Simply Realistic Armors, and uh, we're going to try again after we let everything load it. No, it doesn't look like it's this either. Ooh, I don't know what else I installed that would just... And, and it's weird that it only appears to be happening here and not in... Uh, uh, wasn't happening in Solitude. I don't remember what I was doing the last time I was in White Run. Uh, it was, yeah, that was the video I was testing out tactical vault heim and other lco things and something else oh cathedral weathers and landscapes i don't know why any of the animations would be doing it but i guess i should eliminate them all as the, the problem real quick yeah and actually i was in right one white run testing some of these animations off of a video 
So I don't think any of them are a problem. But, and in fact, I know I had these ones installed. Up to one-handed power attacks. Up to staves, actually. Oh no, up to uh, this female. Yeah, up to believable weapons. So hold on, I'm going to turn all those back on. So that was the last time I was in White Run, and it worked. Anything else I've turned off or something? Okay, so we've just turned off a handful of things. I'm really trying to, you know, because especially after last time, I'm, I'm considering the fact that I might be forgetting something, or it's or it's something else. Maybe I should start restarting my computer after this. Don't need to keep waiting this long. I never had to do that before. So, actually, what's the, the point as far as diagnosing the issue? Yeah, the two things that load up is White Sun and the fucking uh, survival mode. It's still not loading in. So whatever the issue is, it seems like it's something else going on. Man, I need to verify the integrity of the freaking game files or whatever. All right, well, that's enough on camera <laughs> troubleshooting. Uh, something is, has gone wrong that I can't account for, so I'm going to do that off camera because it's stressing me out. <laughs> well, as you can see, uh, so the main thing I did was just verify the integrity of the uh, game files. Uh, I also happened to uh, install the latest NVIDIA graphics drivers while I was having to restart my computer and stuff. So, uh, but yeah, I was able to load into Whiterun this time. I have uh, all of the mods. I've got all the mods turned on. So let's uh, do what we came here to do. And uh, which one haven't I looked at that I want to see? I guess Ebony. <laughs> Hit the wrong button. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, I see there's still some lead up. Oh, yeah, let's just try some random attacks. Yeah, that was like the vanilla one, I'm pretty sure. A little different, a little different. So I definitely have like three, it looks like, at least, for just standard board. Uh, let's get myself some thrust, big slash. Ooh, there's an underhand too. Thrust, 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 vanilla, vanilla. Thrust, 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 vanilla the other way. Oh, and if you keep clicking, obviously it's gonna... Okay, I, I see the advantages now. Oh, see, he looks so much better in, in that than what he normally wears. What he normally wears makes him look like a freaking vagabond. <laughs> All right, well, things are looking up. All right, let's do some of the other... Uh, just like the variation of animations looks really cool, actually. I really, I really like it so far. A little bit of... Unnecessary spinning, but it's not always spinning, I notice. Well, that might be because of, uh, but... Uh oh Oh! Oh! Let him go. Come on, let's do it. Hold on. Oh, I need to be moving forward. Let's try, uh, the timed my time. Come on. So, you know, it's like if he had committed. Oh. See, it's like, <laughs> I like, I like it, the arrows being faster, because then it really is a matter of, like, trying to have to outthink it instead of just avoiding a slow arrow. Now oh, you were right on me. See, it's so much faster. I can still get hit pretty easy. Ah. See, I know they were in vanilla, but I never really used, like, side combos and stuff before. Now, see, when I do that back step, I have to wait a second. At least a second. <laughs> <laughs> I like, does it add? Because that was a pretty cool, good, like, thrust of a kill move. Uh, Jamie Lannister will be proud. Oh, I definitely need the mod that lets me murder children. That's uh, a must. Granted, it's all the same, the same one. But it's fine. Oh, yeah! Oh. oh, isn't that the dude who I helped, like, save his brother or something? Come here. No escape. Oh, he might escape. Ha! <laughs> oh, I killed your brother. Oh my god, this is such a cool looking fight. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Balgriff, you fucking fool. <laughs> Farngar secret fire. Well, it seems to be working. It's pretty cool. God, I just love how much the lower level spell animations being slower is. And it's like not too slow. <laughs> like it kind of originally was, but definitely slow enough. Slow enough for especially when it's from range. Well, that's a big uh, a load off. <laughs> so yeah, all that seems great. Like all the armors we have now, and all the animations, and I'm still going to add some more animations. And for sure, faster swing great swords, that definitely feels like exactly what I wanted, so. And uh, with Proteus, by the way, there's, um, you know, I'm not 100% if you can change the weapon speed multiplier or not per weapon, but if you can, then I would consider, like, because I'm still kind of on the fence of that, about that, um, making things like the, the Daedric weapons, uh, and maybe some of the artifacts, uh, 
have closer to their original shape. Some of them are silly. Like I, I still feel like Molag Ball's vanilla <laughs> shape and size is just a little silly no matter what. But uh, some stuff like the Daedric one, I, I guess I what I'll need to see is I'll need to see some Daedra holding the uh, believable weapons Daedra one and to see if it just fits and uh, you know it might or it might not. And then the armors we got with simple realistic armor uh, that we saw like some of the mercenaries using because it uh, yeah it all just looks great so. Oh yeah, and uh, since I didn't show you this before, I have a different mod than from Vero Levi uh, that gives me this much more like stand-up sneak animation. And what I like is, because Vero Levi has on top of like weapon-based, because I guess that's how it works, like this is the unarmed sneak animation. Uh, But as soon as I add weapons, so for instance, this is me crouching without anything uh, equipped. And as soon as I equip something, oh, this one is still standing. I wonder if this is specific to great swords or, or if it's uh because i might not have installed what you would require actually yet for all i know yeah and no, i see and uh so what i like about this um is that it's essentially like while i have a weapon out it's going to have me use the like much more hunched over one which i would associate more with being sneaky like when you're actively approaching someone whereas as soon as when i put it away i stand up a little bit so it essentially gives me some control over whether i'm doing like a what's you know because this is like the kind of sneak you're doing when you're just being quiet and when you know no amount of like crouching is going to affect whether people can see you or not but you take out weapon and especially if it's like uh do i have a dagger on the but sword yeah see with this i think i just haven't installed the two-handed sneak animations yet uh but yeah so it gives me much more control over exactly like the height of my sneaking which i like a lot yeah and as long as there don't end up being any issues with it oh, and what i really like here i'll just show that real quick is with um because what <laughs> what an iron great sword is really is is just a long sword granted it's pretty big <laughs> to carry on your hip but it would still be able to be carried on your hip but you know as far as being in a fantasy world it's still pretty pretty uh believable but with um yeah with this we're on placement global so i think it's two-handed fsm oh well i'm on actor not player yeah there we go so yep we have it on there and uh with that with the ied thing we have uh it should automatically change the animation yes that's pretty cool (laughs) yeah and you can do that for everybody uh for instance we'll use battleborn here we can go to npc sword and say put sword on back bam you saw it change there in real time i seek my fortune i wonder which armor that is specifically it looks really cool you look so much better and not you know that dumb thing you were wearing before oh, and you look better overall with the the modded skin stuff and yeah these uh won't save when you do a new save they will save uh because it creates like a new like basic generated file whenever you create a new save but then from then on it just saves everything as you uh do it so that's nice and uh yeah oh you know what i want to see just to verify uh we'll put sword on back for him and then we'll have him draw his weapon and make sure he draws it from the right place yes (laughs) oh mods are awesome All right. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.